my name is Frank White and welcome to another episode of Photography Tips and Reviews. In today's episode, I am going to talk about focal length. So, what is focal length, you may ask, if, as if you didn't know. Well, let me read to you what focal length is. Focal length, the focal length of an optical system is a measure of how strongly the system converges or diverges light. So, now you know what focal length is. My job is done. No, seriously. Actually, focal length with respect to photography, well, that, that is the, the definition of focal length, but the way I, I would like to modify it is that focal length is, is an optical system. The focal length of an optical system is a measure of the distance of the lens um, of the lens to the plane and the plane being the sensor um, and basically that's the focal length. <laughs> okay so the question is how does that relate? Well let's see let's take this camera here and this is a 70 to 200 and this one has a focal length of 70 millimeters to 200 millimeters. So on this particular camera here, it, um, I can see that the, that the sensor is right here where this mark is at. So at, so when I dial in 70 millimeters, then I'm actually bringing the, the, the lens closer to the plane. And when I dial in 200 millimeters, I'm actually moving the sensor, the, the lens further from the plane. So, and that distance is actually measured in millimeters. So, so basically, I'm 70 millimeters from the plane at this point, and, and the plane is the sensor. And when I move to 200 millimeters, then I'm out um, to 200 millimeters from the sensor. So how does that affect the field of view, you might wonder, or what is the field of view? Well, the field of view is, is when I'm when I move that lens closer to the plane, then my field of view get wider. Hence, most of your wide angle um, uh, lenses are um, only a few millimeters from the sensor. And when I move that sensor, when I move that, that lens further from the sensor, then my field of view get really narrow hence a, a 200 millimeter or a 500 millimeter camera is the, the field of view is real narrow. In fact, um, since I'm on Wikipedia, let me see if I can't use their illustration here. And so I'm gonna turn this guy around. So now that I got the computer turned around, then I can show you here um, this elf represent the focal length and the focal length is actually the plane and you can see that that this is the lens and as I if you can imagine bringing the lens closer to the focal length how the field of view would actually increase. What I'm going to do is I am actually going to take some pictures at different focal lengths of the same subject to kind of give you an idea of to kind of give you an idea of how focal lengths look. But before I do that, I actually want to take this lens and that actually telescopes so that you can see how the lens is actually moving closer and away from the from the sensor. Okay? So that's this telephoto lens, I'm sorry, this zoom lens 
makes a real good example of, of how the focal length works. Now this lens here is a 24 to 70 millimeter. Now, the, the examples that I just gave you is actually an, an oversimplification of focal length because the glass itself has a lot to do with, um, with the focal length and how, you know, there's a lot that go into the making of a lens. Lens construction can really get complex um, and focusing light, you know, the, the glass in the lens has a lot to do, uh, can affect the focal length also. Um, and then there's a lot of, a lot of mathematical formulation that, that, that determines um, that go into the lens so that all the light get focused, whether the lens is convex, meaning that it's thicker in the middle or concave, meaning that it's thicker on the edges. Uh, so a, con a convex lens would look like that, where a concave lens would look like this. Um, but that's beyond the scope of this video. Anyway, um, as you probably already know, that in general, a lens at 50 millimeter is considered pretty much normal, and that's where you can find the most inexpensive lens in terms of focal length. As the lens, as the focal length get longer or shorter, you probably have noticed that the lens get more expensive. And again, if it gets longer, the field of view gets narrower, and as it gets shorter, the field of view gets wider. Um, that all has to do with the focal length. But what we'll do at this point is we'll make some photos at different focal lengths and so that you can see for yourself um, what I'm talking about. What I'm focusing on is the church steeple and I'm at 24 millimeters. Now I am going to, to zoom in to 50 millimeters. And this is what the church steeple looks like at 50. Okay. And let's bump up to 70 millimeters. And that's what it looks like at 70 millimeters. Now I'm gonna go all the way up to 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 300 millimeters cut so now I'm at one I'm at 70 millimeters and again I'm focusing on the church steeple and I'm gonna switch to 100 millimeters so now I'm at 100 millimeters and I am going to double that and go to 200 millimeters Okay, so now I'm at 200 millimeters and I'm still focusing on the church steeple. And without changing anything, I am going to, to, to zoom in to 300 millimeters. So you get to see the effect, and I'm just touching the back of the camera, that was the shape that you saw, um, to make sure that I'm locking focus. And I'm actually gonna go to a manual focus here and make sure that I got that in really good focus. I think I like that better. So, and I'm gonna back all the way back down to 70 millimeters. And again, as I move to 70 millimeters, I'm actually moving that sensor closer. I'm sorry, I'm actually moving that lens closer to the sensor. So guys, I hope I've been able to give you some really good information about focal length. If you have any questions about focal length that I might be able to help you with, drop them in the comment section below. 
if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Yay! I kind of use that as my barometer to determine how well I'm presenting you with this information. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscription button. Become a part of this community. And remember guys, if you're gonna shoot anybody today, shoot them with a cannon or a camera of your choice and keep shooting no matter what.